Freestyle, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video. It is a good Friday. Um, I ain't gonna outside not looking the best, so y'all know I'm having a suspension problem. That's why the wheel is crooked. It's not because I need a wheel line, it's because um, when I made the sliding video with the supporters, I fucking did a roll back on accident and something happened that gave me a traction control light. So I'm praying. I didn't rip a wire. I broke my wires on that side last time, so that's what pretty much caused it. I checked that side by myself. I just lifted it up in the air, checked the wire, and the wire on that side is good. So maybe it's the passenger side. That day, I ain't gonna lie, it was hot as hell. I didn't have the right four way, I didn't have the right jack. So I made that shirt short and sweet, like 90 outside. I didn't even check the driver. So instead of doing all that, we're gonna just go to the mechanic. I'm probably like three or four minutes away. I'm have him hook it up and everything like that. And um, yeah, so he gonna just hook his scan tool up to the car and let us know exactly what's going on. All that trying to, I think it's this, I think it's that. Nah, you know what I'm saying? So y'all don't know, y'all can have your car plugged up to the scanner and let you guys know exactly what's going on with it from the traction control light, ABS, all that. So instead of doing all that BS, just have it scanned so you can know what's going on instead of trying to troubleshoot any other way. You ain't gonna get nothing past that scanner. The light is giving me right there, the trash control light. We all like out of gas, so we finna put some gas in here. I ain't gonna lie, it ain't finna be a lot. Cause I'm going to Sam's Club tomorrow. I'm a Sam's Club, baby. I ain't gonna lie, all this 450, 430, that shit is crazy. I've been going to Sam's Club paying like 380, 370, no cap. Like damn near 60 for a four tank. You can't beat that. 60 compared to like 75. Dude, man. We got a motherfucker pulled over by East Point. I ain't gonna lie, East Point be like bored as hell. Like, I don't know what they be going having going on. I really stay away from these niggas. No cat because these niggas. Oh shit, it's two of them. Two of them. Shit, shit, fuck. He might be going to jail. They call back up. That nigga probably ass is grass. That nigga's probably fish fry right now. Later that day. Yo, check this out now. Um, we went to the mechanic. He told me what was going on. So we got to get a new clock spring because he plugged it up. So the suspension say it's okay. It's just messing up because the clock spring is bad. So I'm guessing when I did the roll back and my hands crossed and the wheel like turned all the way around, it might have turned around real hard to where it broke it or it might have turned around hard enough for the wires to come unplugged. So... I'm going to have to go to Pack-A-Punch to get the wheel taken off to just look at everything and stuff like that because it just might have came unplugged. And then, you know what's crazy? The last few days, my car been telling me that the turn signal for the front right is not working, that it's out. But I tried. The turn signal is definitely working. So that is a part of the clock springs all like one piece with the little, um, little lever. So... After that, everything should be good with the suspension. After that, we're not sliding the car for a minute. Like, every time I slide the car, I do something wrong. So, hopefully, um, I can get a clock spring for cheap because they're like five, six hundred. So, that's kind of crazy. Y'all got to watch the ads. But, you might be able to take the steering wheel off and something came loose from us turning the wheel so hard. So, it could be that. It could not be that. It could be the whole clock spring. So, we're going to have to just wait and see. Now, on the other side, I am, I don't know if I told you, but I'm like in the process of getting like my CDL and like working with the box truck. So I'm out here at this place. I'm in like Dearborn Heights to get my DOT physical. Boy, he's trying to make the best bag that he can make. So I'm trying to get to the bigger bag in life. So I'm uh, I'm out here, I'm about to run in here and do my DOT physical. And then we're gonna go from there. I'm kind of hungry, I haven't really ate today. So I might, take out what we might go grab something yeah i might not i don't know so we're gonna run in here do the dlt physical and then uh oh my god i think he know me oh my god oh my god the car just pull up to me next to tomorrow so something something ebay oh fuck i guess he know who i am um <laughs> i'm damn scared to get out of nah. oh shit um his window cracked, my window cracked, so I can kind of hear it or whatever. So, I don't know. Shit. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to probably start here for a little second. And, um, 
Yeah. I don't know. Am I famous? I don't know. Let me know right now. I might be famous. I can't tell. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. That nigga got a little bit of motion. All right, y'all. So check this out. Uh, we just now leaving the DOT physical place. The guy gave me the paperwork. He gave me like uh, a coffee mug, gum, a flashlight, a great pop. He gave me a lot. Besides the paperwork, I'm not using nothing or taking nothing or doing anything with nothing but the great pop and the paperwork. He gave me coffee mug and, and everything like that for literally no reason. That shit's going away. So I'm not gonna lie to you. But check this out. So um update on that on that supporter let me put the seatbelt on real quick so update with the supporter now he ended up getting out the car uh going into little caesars uh he went past my car didn't say nothing i get out of my car as he's walking to his car from little caesars he likes me, hey y'all watch your videos this is this, this. i tried to get him on the camera but he said like, he ain't want to so i guess he was shy but i appreciate you so much big shout out to you um yeah, I wish you could have chopped it up a little bit more because when I meet y'all, I love to talk to y'all. Like, I ain't gonna lie, it's a YouTuber from the city. I ain't gonna say no names, but I kind of bumped into him in person and I feel like they didn't give me like they like their attention. Like, you know what I'm saying? So after that, it's like it crushed me. So, and then I started kind of getting somewhere on YouTube. So I always tell myself, anytime I run into a support, I'm gonna talk to y'all. I don't care what I'm doing. As long as that nigga ain't like eating or like some shit like that, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to y'all because I, I appreciate y'all. Without y'all, it wouldn't be me. So if any of y'all YouTube that's watching my platform, y'all wanna see our supporters, give them a, give them your time of day. Don't act like you good, you too good, or nothing like that, because they ain't gonna like that. that. That shit not cool. These are all the people that make you. So make sure y'all take y'all time out to actually acknowledge that. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't here to rent or do none of that crazy shit. I'm just letting y'all know what it is you know so big shout out to you for watching me i appreciate you so much so the next thing i'm gonna try to go do tomorrow to finish this whole little thing up with the uh the driving and stuff i'm gonna try to go get my drug test done tomorrow i'm not sure if the place is open tomorrow but if not i'm gonna go monday because today is friday i should have went today but this was like more of the spirit of the moment like i literally was at home um and I'm like, okay, I'm about to go do everything now. Cause I'm gonna, I kind of got a bad reputation of kind of like contemplating and like putting stuff off. You know what I'm saying? And look what the car said. So I believe that's from the clock screen. So and like, I, I got a bad habit of putting stuff off, saying I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. So, and then shout out, shout out to Gurley, I got him on the corner. I appreciate you so much. Just for helping me get everything. You know what I'm saying? So T always told me, um. Ain't nothing better than having a a, a a person in your corner to really, you know, whatever. So, big shout out to you. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I'm probably finna head home. I seen some raindrops, but it probably ain't gonna rain. I know we bumping that that ride. We got the old school ride on. I'm rambling, so I'm with the see all in a minute. We gonna drink on the great pop in this cold. So, all right, y'all, check it out. Welcome back. Um, I guess it's gonna be the same video, different day. Um. So right now, we're in traffic. We got T-Baby behind me, and my car is so freaking filthy. My car needs an inside and an outside detail. So we finna get the car cleaned up real nice, cause I ain't gonna lie, it is filthy. Like, I'm embarrassed to show you all this shit, but look, filthy. Like, filthy as hell in here. I feel like a badass SRT owner. If you're in the SRT community, please do not disown me. Um, so yeah, I ain't even gonna show y'all like it ain't like no trash in here, but this the car hasn't been vacuumed in like a long ass time. Well I did vacuum it like last month, but like I didn't do like a crazy ass good ass job, you know what I'm saying? So we finna get the car cleaned up. Hopefully that like they clean all this up because it's like dust and like just it's just bullshit all around the car. So we finna go to the hand wash detail place, probably like three or four minutes away. Y'all know y'all gotta go to the people in the hood, the black people. <laughs> they do the good job, no cow. I was editing when I was doing the box truck. If I had edited the beginning of the video the other day, I was looking so damn dusty. When I get off of work, I look dusty. For some reason, I just be looking dusty and like a dirt ball ass nigga. But 
anyways, it's, it's all good in the hood. We got a little bit of Ash and eBay going on. Let's see that. But yeah, we about to be pulling up in a second. And um, we gonna, I don't know what we're gonna do for today's video. Y'all gotta just come with me, come along, and you know what I'm saying, see what we gonna do. All right, y'all, so check this out. Look at the car. The car, I ain't gonna lie, it's filthy. It's been raining. A lot of neglect. Like, I haven't washed the car since probably like a week, week and a half. Look how bad the Brembo's is. Like, that's real, real filthy. So, we ain't gonna do shit right now. We just gonna get the car cleaned up. The inside, like, only side that's really bad is my side. But, like, look at this. I don't eat these chips. How is that under my seat? Like, I don't know, but only trip, we finna get this shit taken care of. Only thing I love, I do not eat them chips. I don't know who the fuck been in my car eating weird ass chips and shit. I don't know, like, the box of headlights y'all seen from the last video, the thermostat, coolant, like, that's how y'all tell I've been working on this car. The, the box right here, like, it's just a lot of bullshit. I'm about to put this inside the truck real quick and I'ma see y'all in a second. Y'all check this out, the inside has already been cleaned. They already pretty much working on the outside. The outside has already been hand washed. Um, the wheels ain't looking all the way apart, but they gonna get that up. It's a little bit of gray dust. So I'm just tuning back in with y'all. We finna get the car looking real glass house. AKA, I'm just trying to get some more filler content. <laughs> you know, but I ain't gonna lie, they always do a good job. So I'm not even worrying about that. Like this motherfucker gonna be glass house, no cap. Then y'all see the SRT right here. Then you see this slow ass fucking Cat pack. Hey, tell them how you were just dodging Rick at the light. Hey, you know what's crazy? I hey, get, I gave, like, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No. I gave him a chance to race me. No, bro. He turned off on every, on Auntie. On Auntie, what happened? I didn't know we was racing, bro. I didn't know we was racing. On Auntie, what happened on 8 Mile? We, look, I put my car, listen, I put my car in track mode, manual everything. We had a red light. I look, I look down at him. You just Rick. You just Rick. Niggas is going home, bro. I got my windows up. Music playing. I downshift my car to go about where I'm about to go to. He heard he me. He heard me rev on the side oh, of him. No, like, no, you literally. You know what's crazy? Hey, so, so no, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. So y'all see, y'all know how a mile is. A mile is four lanes. I'm in the far left. He in the second lane to the right of me. That means it's two lanes on the side of him. So go me, him, one lane, two lanes, total of four lanes. He came from the second lane on the right side of me. It shot all the way over to the right to hand so and I, left. I he he jumped over two lanes to run from a race. Did you not jump over two lanes, bro? bro I didn't know we was racing. He jumped over two lanes. Uh -oh. Mind you, it's a, I'm, my lane, his lane, another lane, another lane. He came from this lane and went what straight you, and jumped what over. What well, you mean? You got your chance to race no, me. You no, scared. No. You duck smoke. You, you literally, you literally ran. You literally ran, bro. You literally ran, bro. you done. Get race these motherfuckers. Like, he, he literally ran. This, the, this nigga is scared of big SRT. And it's cool, bro. Put that bitch down. Oh, bro. Niggas get a scat package thing. They know how to draw that bitch. When I put that bitch in the blender, don't say nothing. We're going to come back to this day. Blender trying to race me in. No, fuck uh, no. Hey. Let me know who y'all think going to win. Big SRT or, or scat package? Okay. You've never been fast to me, bro. You, you've never, <laughs> nigga, never been fast to me. Every, any car you have is never fast. <laughs> nigga, nigga, get a. You've never been fast to me, bro. When have you been fast to me, bro? What honestly, bro? SRT, I walked that bitch. When? Come on, bro. <laughs> I'm about to put the clip in me. <laughs> You race the other nigga and you bro, stop, stop using that video <laughs> to me, bro. Oh, no, God, stop. If y'all get 100 likes, we gonna race for a video. If not, fuck you. Hey, them niggas got to for gas. He ain't gonna like it. He cash out. Yeah, he gonna let the gas be the reason why he don't race me. It's cool. I won't race you right now. Come on. Bro. I ain't gonna lie. Come on. Come on. Come on. We gonna see y'all in a minute. We got the car all nice and clean. I just paid him, um... Somehow I was short. I don't know how. I feel like a broke ass nigga. But let's take a look. The outside of this boy looks so good. Look at that. Like, come on, man. Like, it look, it look motherfucking beautiful. Look at the inside real quick. Inside look nice and good. How this motherfucker look? It look clean. Tight shit. Tight shit. But hell yeah. But yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I haven't had this boy cleaned out. And literally the longest, but it feel like a hey. <coughs> hey, 
goddamn. This motherfucker feel like a brand new car. Like, literally, it's clean as hell in here. But I'm going to see y'all in a second. Just hold on. Check this out. Um, We just pulled up to our little secret location. I don't even know what we can do for a video, but we finna just do some reels. I don't know what type of reels, but I ain't gonna lie, he detailed my car, like, glass. Inside of my car, like, it's brand new, like, bro, I ain't gonna fake the white sound markers and the white brakes. It's so crazy, bro. Crazy-ass combo. Everybody that got a black car should go white sound markers, like, that's... Not even up for One week later. Y'all check this out. We definitely got a rain POV, but um I haven't been on YouTube in like a month, y'all. Why is these wipers so hard? But I haven't been on YouTube like a lot of shit been honestly going on. I'm gonna explain everything like tomorrow. It's gonna be in the same video. As y'all know my suspension is messed up, so um Early in the video, y'all see my mechanic told me to check with the steering wheel. So I'm on my way to pack a punch where I'm going to take the steering wheel off and see if something came unplugged because that could be possibly was wrong. Like everything could be good. Something could have just came unplugged. So it is about to rain. My tires ain't as good, but we'll be all right. We like an extra or two away. And the only thing about this rain, I do not have no air. I don't have no air at all. So Windows gonna have to come up and it's gonna be hot as hell. I'm gonna explain to y'all tomorrow why everything is going on, why I have been going and stuff like that. A few minutes later. All right, check this out, y'all. So we just made the pack a punch. We finna just basically take the steering wheel off and make sure nothing got unplugged. That's all we doing. It should be a quick off and on. But he just said he did 1100 starlights. Dual color. Dual color. So. If y'all get the starlights, they come by like 500. Well, people get like 500, but to get two colors at once, you need to do a kit, right? Yeah. So y'all look at this. That's crazy. We got the red seats. Um, This boy fire. Let's take a look from the back. He get anything special? Uh, oh, it's flooded. So a lot of people only get like, what, 500 or like 480? So he basically got, what would you put a level 100 in like Durango. a Durango? So he basically got Durango stars, like literally. That's crazy. It's literally flooded. It's a young guy? Uh, not too sure. Not too sure. Uh, he, he went crazy for sure. For real? Where are you from? Uh, Up north. <laughs> Yeah, no, this is really flooding. I ain't going to lie to you. That's fire. So if y'all don't know who the best in the game with the rap stars, anything to customize a car or, I ain't going to lie to you, he don't always do cosmetic mods. Shoot him a DM or text the phone number, call him, whatever. Only serious inquiries. I'm sure he'll put on the air and take any of that stuff. Shoot the message to him and see what he says. The car is filthy, like... Yeah. He on some other shit. Look how filthy the car is, though. Like, it's been raining real, real bad. What? I feel like that's supposed to be attached to that. Yeah, no, it, it definitely. Y'all, um, <laughs> don't even worry about what's bro, in the clean trunk. Your trunk. Look at this. Bro. Longhorn Steakhouse. Bro, listen, bro. It's a long story, bro. It's a long story. Y'all want to know what, bro? I got that. Yeah, dollars, 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 mufflers in here. I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm, I'm gonna tell you. Listen, I'm gonna tell y'all why that's cut. I'm gonna tell y'all. Listen, one day I was at work. I did some stupid shit. I was trying to reset the car. I took the post off, but didn't put it on there all the way, right? So I'm trying to jump the car, to get the get power to the front of the car, to get the doors unlocked, right? I couldn't do that. So guess what? I had to go through the back seat. Use a knife to cut the strap. That's all the strap is cut. You know what I'm saying? Then I had to call. That More. still didn't explain where the knife came from in the first place, buddy. Oh, yeah, bro. where's the knife come from, bro? Bro, y'all, we're on the wrong shit right now, bro. I bought it, but you can go there and buy You, you can buy that silverware, bro. Bro, who y'all gonna believe? Y'all gonna believe a nigga y'all subscribe to or a random nigga? He ain't gonna hit these niggas, though. These niggas will beat you. Hit them if you want to. Ew. Hit these niggas if you want to. <laughs> y'all look this slow ass car. This bitch suck. So I just got back from the store in the, you know what I'm saying, the Uber. 
uber scatty packy and then came back the airbag is off the steam was about to come off so basically we about to look at the clock spring and see if anything is wrong with it and then he said none of the airbag wires were like unplugged or anything of that nature i probably got to hold it i seen on youtube they was holding it there it go Y'all, look at this. This is how I look without an airbag. How safe is driving without an airbag? Like, it, it ain't that. It's pretty safe, just don't hit it. Right. The wheel and stuff just came off, and the clock spring. <laughs> the clock spring is bold. So, this supposed to be raveled up. Y'all see how this all unraveled and, like, loose and stuff? Oh, no power. So, yeah, that's what it is. That's what we need, buddy. Lucy, this move. <laughs> what are you talking about? You bro? should be making fucking monkey noises. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I'm black, though. I can, see, I can say shit like that. I'm black. And if I, if I wasn't black, what y'all gonna do? <laughs> bro, so that's all we need is nothing with these. I looked these up on Amazon. They're like 40 bucks. So um, I'm gonna grab one of these and hopefully within like the next video or two, we'll come back and. Get this switched out. What? No, nah, it's not. Oh. Look how much reason you That's crazy. All right. Bro, oh, y'all know what we should do? Give me some pliers. You about to drive. Oh, bro, go ahead. Oh, it is off. Yeah, it's all toasted. Y'all see that? And it's dirty as shit. So now I know this will be me. Um, I'll see you in a few days. So y'all know who to come to, but we're gonna put this back together real quick. Oh, we don't got nothing else. <laughs> bro, this, it's sauce on this, bro. It's from the Texas Roadhouse or whatever. Bro, bro, bro. You eating steak and dry? Bro, hey, what's going on? I'm not the first owner of this car, so you trying to kill me for this shit is crazy, bro. Like, this, I'm not this car not brand new, bro. Bro, the nigga, honest, hold this, bro. Hold this, bro. Hold this. Hold this right here. Yo, I've been driving with sauce. Like, the nigga who owned this car before me is fucking disrespectful. You left sauce on the car, bro. Just pass the sauce down Like, <laughs> y'all, a thousand likes, I'll leak this. Freaky man, freaky man. Right, I give him 10 bucks. <laughs> what, what? Damn, but how you gonna find out what the flavor is? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna trust y'all gave me a thousand likes. Y'all ready? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> But no, uh, we finna get this put back on. Um, hey, that's that's nuts, bro. <laughs> Here, you go. Hey. I'm not recording a porno game. <laughs> so y'all, that's all it is basically. So I'm gonna go and get one order, and then uh, yeah, I finna take a video for myself just so I can pretty much know and see. Proud in my life, and I'm scared to start this bitch up. This airbag blow, I'm gonna die. Ah, we safe. We, hey, look though. All right, bro. The next day. All right, y'all. Check this out. This is a new day. The day y'all watching this is going to be the day the video, where this video dropped. I ain't going to lie. I got a V-neck. Oh, y'all know I don't even mess with the V-necks. It's always a regular classic white tee. But check this out, y'all. So I'm going to just be talking to y'all for a quick second on why I've been gone. Y'all know I haven't been on YouTube in so long. And it's like I keep taking these breaks because the stuff just really ain't been going like it's supposed to be. So as y'all do not know, like, this is my car or whatever. And then, like, as I was working for the last job I was working for, I ended up telling y'all something ended up going on with my car. Somehow, some way, the worker with the company did this to my car, right? So I ended up calling the job, this, 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 and, like, telling them what's going on and stuff like that. And I was kind of, like, um, putting a little bit of pressure on them because I just feel like if somebody did something... As a person, you have to own up to responsibilities, whether you like it or not. So, boom, that happened. Somehow, some way, they ended up finding out by my Instagram and, like, my YouTube, all my social media. So, I'm just guessing because they came out and looked at it, and then they seen the window stickers on the car. Because y'all know I got window stickers on the car for the self-promo and stuff like that. And so, they come questioning me about my personal life between, like, YouTube and they seen, like, all my videos. So... I kind of was in a, 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 a bad spot. It was uh, either work for us 
or do do YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So they kind of put me in a bad position to where like that's what they wanted me to do. Like they didn't want me to live my personal life by any means and then to come there and work for them. So I feel like that was just crazy because whatever I do outside my personal life has nothing to do with y'all at all. So the fact that you guys made me like quit YouTube for a little while. So the whole time I wasn't on YouTube, I was pretty much like getting my life together and figuring out my next step. It, it just was crazy. I just didn't understand. So I was just basically forced to quit YouTube for a while. So it's been about 30 something days since I posted. And then like, y'all know what's so crazy. Once I made the complaint to the job about the bumper being cracked, I already felt them like micromanaging me even more. Like I just felt like, it wasn't going to last long. I really felt like I was being micromanaged. They were just popping up on me. They're doing like little weird stuff. So that definitely brought some attention. But if somebody hits your car, somebody has to take full responsibilities for it. No ifs, ands, or buts. And I just didn't understand what made it such a big deal. And as y'all were seeing in the beginning of the video, I was telling y'all about the box truck and stuff and everything like that. Because I was already getting myself mentally and financially prepared to make my next step. So I'm just so glad I was getting everything lined up in order to where I can go from this to this and not go from this and have like a pause and then go to this. So I was already getting myself prepared of what I'm gonna have to do and get everything behind the scenes lined up. That's why y'all can't put all your eggs in one basket even though you got a nice job. So make something behind the scenes still come about because you don't never know what people try to do like these companies really don't need y'all you know what i'm saying they just they just want you for the time being the next person gonna come and take your spot and nobody's gonna care hello uh i'm not sure i think it's gonna be some type of warehouse no i'm back here recording for my youtube channel no ma'am i'm back here recording for my youtube channel yeah, no, nah, I, I don't condone in this. Not no Harper Woods, I don't. Yeah, no, I, I don't do donuts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck all that. To I do, like, bro, what the fuck? She an NPC, fuck out of here. I don't know what they got going on tomorrow. I'm back here. Like, they did go crazy, as y'all can see, but don't put that shit on me, no cap. Y'all seen I just pulled up here and I'm recording it. She got me losing my whole train of thought. She came back here just to be nosy. Literally, that's the fucking crazy part. But um, it's hot as shit outside. But like I was saying, I don't plan on quitting YouTube no time soon or like none of that. I don't know. They kind of threw me off, but just make sure y'all got everything lined up do not count on nothing for the rest of your life because stuff happens my fault y'all the video got cut because the storage i didn't clear enough storage but so that being said i was actually in the program to get my cdl class through like the state of michigan but, but i had a lot of stuff going on with my license to where i'm not eligible so i had ended up getting a job through the city or like was it through the state one of them and they called me about a job. They was gonna send me to get my CDL, pay for my training and all that. But I can't do it till September 19th. So I am gonna be starting a trucking channel. I'm gonna put the link inside the description. It's gonna be like trucking with eBay or something like that. So go down there. So just cause I can't get my CDL right now, it's not gonna mean that I can't do the box truck drive and the straight truck driving and stuff like that. So go down there and subscribe, trucking with eBay. By the time y'all watch this video, it's gonna be the link inside the description. Let's get that channel monetized because y'all y'all already know this is gonna be my main channel. The eBay shot the personal lifestyle vlogs, the car content, the lifestyle, all that type of stuff. So we're gonna make another business oriented channel for the trucking with eBay. And let's just see how that go. So this is gonna be the main channel. I'm gonna post as much as I can on here. And then for the trucking channel, I'm gonna probably post like, Maybe once or twice. I can't even say that much. Maybe once or twice every two weeks. So I don't know how it's going to go. But I want y'all to watch me get my CDL license. I want y'all to see me go from box truck driving 
to graduate, get my CDL, and like going over the road. Like, look at that semi right there. Like, this is what I want to do. I want to do box truck driving. I want to do CDL. I want to get over the road. So, y'all going to watch me from the beginning to the end. So, go down there and subscribe. Y'all going to watch this journey with me. Y'all going to literally see me come from here to here with the box truck driving and CDL. As I'm learning, I'm going to be teaching y'all stuff y'all wanted to know about that and how do y'all get in that and everything y'all want to know about trucking. I'm going to let y'all know about trucking. So, just like this, it's going to be... A YouTube channel on a bigger level, but actually teaching you how to make money and not spend it on cars. So, um, what else do I got to say? I ain't gonna lie, it's hot as hell. I had bought a pop. Oh, is that the police? Oh, fuck. No, that ain't the police. I think she called the police. Like, she literally came back here and, like, said, like, was that me slide? I don't slide. Y'all ain't gonna lie. SRT is like filthy. It's been parked for like a week. But, man, I can't even get this. That nigga coming through playing some bullshit. I don't even drink this. Like, if I'm drinking a pop, it's going to be like a Mountain Dew or, or something of that nature. But, <sighs> yeah, this ain't even hitting for real. But that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I'm going to get this video edited because... I gotta get this video up for y'all today. So y'all gonna be seeing this Saturday. Hopefully I get my thumbnail maker to edit this thumbnail real quick. And yeah, um, we are basically back to regular scheduled programs. Um, back to dropping the content and just, it's been a lot going on. So I've been just trying to get everything ironed out and like, you know, taking a little mental health break. Cause I ain't gonna lie, YouTube seems easy it's, it, and it kind of is, but it's a lot of hard work y'all do not see behind the scenes and it's mentally draining. And then like, if you're not fully focused on that, it can really get past you. Like it can really get, it can really get away from you. You know, I've been having other stuff going on and I just haven't been giving my energy to YouTube. I just been giving my energy to something else, you know? So no matter what's going on in your life, stay focused. Don't let nothing get in between the grind. Y'all got to stay focused and stay achieving stuff. Cause I lost sight for a minute. I ain't gonna lie to you. So I know I'm never gonna quit. I might take a break, but I done did too much. And we almost at 10K. So we had like 9.3. Go down there and subscribe. Um, it's back to the daily vlogs. I'm trying to see if I got anything else I gotta say. So since y'all haven't getting no content from me, I'm gonna let y'all on a little bit of a insider. Um, I've been telling y'all that we are gonna be doing something real special. As y'all see, I'm getting excited. So, um. First off, since y'all know my accident happened in December, the AC condenser went out, so the car does not have any AC at all. So the car is a hot ass mess. Not gonna lie to you. So we did order the AC condenser. Um, we're gonna be getting that put on real soon. I'm not gonna say that's a mod. That's just gonna be a part of the rebuild series. So the thing we're gonna be doing that's gonna be crazy. We're gonna be installing. I don't wanna say too much because the company didn't want to sponsor me. That's why I'll be trying to get sponsors. So. I can get either for free or for percentage off and I can promote them and tell them and tell y'all what I'm actually doing to the build. But they didn't want to sponsor me, so you know what? It's cool. So we're going to be making the car shoot flames. So listen, when I tell y'all flames, like, pow, pow, backfire, pow, 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 bang, like, going crazy. <laughs> So like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all so much. Hopefully this video kind of explained what was going on. So I was in the middle of getting my CDL and like transitioning. I've been seeing a lot of weird stuff going on with the job. And then I just lost focus and, and stuff like that. But guess what? We back. We almost at 10K subscribers. Go down there, like, comment, and subscribe. Go subscribe to the Trekking with eBay channel. It's going to be the link inside the description. Let's run them numbers up. The first video will be posted very soon. Turn on post notifications for the second day channel and the first channel. I ain't gonna show it away a little bit because it was steaming. <laughs> but I love y'all so much. Thank y'all so much. Um, I haven't been on here in a month, so I know this video is gonna do ass reviews, like the algorithm. I'm not, I don't even have an algorithm at this point. So um, yeah, I'm gonna see y'all when I see y'all. I love y'all so much. Y'all really helped me, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I appreciate y'all a lot. It might sound crazy, y'all might not think, but I really fuck with y'all.
for real, for real. So, like, comment, and subscribe. I see y'all when I see y'all. Hey, yo, Pluto. Next video. You going crazy? I'm out. Y'all stay up. Hey. Y'all stay ride. blessed. Eight. And we out. I ain't into the cap and let's keep it real. He could have held us man down, he took a deal. That's why I can't show nobody how we live. I got the news from my sister, gave me chills. Gang off y'all pills, fucking up parties, it's just a thrill. He popped his hands in that dog, itching to do a drill.